Hello everyone, today I want to show you four features inside Avid Media Composer that are going to help you edit faster. All right, I'm using Avid Media Composer 2026 here, so if you're in a much older version, you probably don't have those features. Okay, the first feature I want to show you is called Strip Silence from Sequence. So I have a sequence with voice over here, just one audio track. The next step for me would be probably to get rid of the silence, just doing in and out and getting rid of those sections. But there's a much better way of doing this now. All you have to do is right clicking into your sequence and select strip silence from sequence. There are a few options you can adjust. You might want to play around with them a little bit to get the best result. Click OK and that's it. I'm already done. The next feature I want to show you is the easier way of moving clips up and down in your timeline. What you would usually do is probably select a clip and then with your mouse drag it up and down. Or there's also the option to hold the command button moving it up and down to make sure it's not shifting. But I always thought it's a bit shaky moving it up and down with the mouse and not fast, sometimes not accurate. So now there is a button that you can map to your keyboard. Just have to go to your settings, to your keyboard and open up the command palette. Under edit, you'll find it. It's called move clip up and move clip down. I mapped to my keyboard holding shift down to my one and my two button. You can map it wherever you want to. Once it's on your keyboard, all you have to do is press the shortcut and you can even create new tracks by just moving it up and down with your keyboard. Super easy and fast and much more accurate. The next new function I want to show you has something to do with muted clips. I'm gonna open up a bit more complex sequence to see it better. Here you see I have a bunch of muted clips here. I really like the muting clip function. You can do that with audio and video by right clicking on a clip and select mute clips. I do it a lot with music if I play around with music and I like a cue, I'm not sure about it, then I might mute it and play around with other cues. And at some point my sequence is probably full of muted clips as you can see in this one. But once I turn my timeline over to post audio and I export my AAF, I don't want to have all those muted clips in my timeline. So before I would go to all my muted clips and select them and get rid of them, it takes a long time and I might miss one. There's a much better way of doing this now. All you have to do is right clicking into your timeline and click on select muted clips. Now you can see all my muted clips on my timeline are selected and I can just delete them. Literally it saves you an hour of going through the timeline and deleting every single muted clip. Now we can do it all at once. And the last feature I want to show you is something to do with color. Maybe you're like me and you like to color code your sequence. I'm gonna turn on my source color here. You see, it looks all very colorful. And there's a really cool way of selecting all colored clips in your sequence. With the error, you select a colored clip, right click, select clips with same source clip color. As you can see, all the purple clips are now selected and I can move them around in my timeline if I want to, or I could delete them. It's a super convenient way of selecting clips with the same color. And you can even select clips with the same local clip color if you prefer working with local clip colors. All right, those are my four new favorite functions to edit faster inside Avid Media Composer. If this video helped you, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.